Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, the kids and I are headed up to Costco. We got a membership, so we're really living big now. <laughs> I saw that there were options for memberships. You could get that $120 one a year. I am not too familiar with Costco, so I didn't go for the larger one. I got the $60 a year, and this is going to either replace or coexist with our Sam's Club membership, but I consider ourselves going into large family season not as big as all of your families i know you know having three kids and having a husband who is lovingly a bottomless pit i i feel as if that we can be in the large family category you have to tell me if i'm wrong but costco had 60 dollars, and then i just quickly searched google for a promo code and it took 20 dollars off so i suggest you do that i don't have a code for you just google it and it will give you a code and it works. Sometimes things like that, they don't work. I'm happy that it did. We actually don't have a Costco near us. So we, it's probably about an hour, hour and 10. I feel like an hour and 10 is always what I say, but it's so true. Like we just, we don't live in a very populated area, which is good and bad at the same time. But we are having a Costco built next to us. So um, that was, I guess our gift to each other for Christmas and then I will show you in a vlog or something later on what my husband got me it's just this beautiful live edge piece it's more like art which is something that we do I'm always for you know functionality of gifts but there's just some years where we want just something nice you know I don't know just something that makes you feel good so that is what we're doing today. We're gonna to go to Costco. I understand that my last video was the no spend and uh, there's a lot to prep for that. I don't think no spend challenges have to go a certain way. Yes, the idea is to not spend anything, but I think my biggest thing is uh, it needs to work for everyone. So of course we're gonna work with what we have, but there are things that kids need, um, you know, fresh milk and things like that, that you can't really do in a no spend I mean maybe some people can but personally we we just need that fresh milk and uh, we're not getting raw milk right now so we uh, so we're not going to our local farm I think we'll be good on canned items and veggies and things like that I guess my husband is a part of this challenge this is gonna be a long-winded intro so sorry um, but he you know he gets his energy drinks and all those things he kind of shops separately so my goal today is to find things uh, for dinners and lunches and then his snacky things like whatever it is beef jerky and things like that he can get on his own because I always seem to get it wrong which I we've done this our entire relationship we just shop separately and it, it's what works <laughs> with us but we still are able to remain in a budget so I've gotten questions on how I budget will I do a course on budgeting I would love to I used to be a teacher I was not the most organized teacher I I don't want to sell you a course I'm just gonna give you tips on YouTube and go from there I just want it to be free because part of being on a budget is freebies right so I'm just gonna give you my best tips and tricks and then that also doesn't give me pressure to have this very organized course if that makes sense so no I will not be doing a course gonna stop talking your ear off uh, we're gonna head up to Costco and then we also have to get some chicken feed the chicks have been loving my homemade feed so I don't know the ducks too we're gonna stop at Baumgars is the moral of that story it's been five minutes since I've been talking let's hit the road <laughs> Friends, we just got back from Costco. I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got, but I did want to tell you about my plan. I gave myself $300 for the entire month, so that's technically not a no spend, but I wanted to get it going enough so that I can figure out how to cut that in half essentially because that's what I'd like to do for our monthly spending, which is easier said than done. So I spent $240 and that leaves us 60 for wiggle room for fresh vegetables and, or well fresh greens really and milk and eggs and those kind of things. So like I said, this is going to look different for every family. This is what works for me. I chose Costco over Sam's Club because I think there's better options for the ingredients that I want. I'm trying to eat 
as clean as possible. There are some things in here that are not clean, but I'm trying my best. Ingredients really scare me, and until we are fully self-sustainable, I'm still a consumer at the grocery store, so it's really tricky for me, but I did my best. Let me get you turned around and show you what we got. So here it is laid out. The idea is to freeze some items, maybe can some if I have the chance, but these are items that we use quite frequently, so let's get to it. We have some organic free-range eggs. We got the 24 count. I have some Rocky Mountain sourdough bread. There's two loaves in here for, I believe it was like $6.99, which is pretty awesome. My husband's favorite bread, the Sara Lee Bakery bread. That's a two-pack as well. And then I don't know if Costco has like a sale section, but it was $4.99. I understand that they're leg quarters, but it was an eight count. So I'm going to go in and separate these and use them for different shredded chicken recipes. I'm just going to put them in some individual freezer bags in the freezer. And I think that'll be my best bet. And then for dinner tonight, I just got some chicken legs. They were $6.76 and this can go through three meals with us. So I mean, either going to freeze it or just save it for, I don't know, the week. And then the muffins, I didn't know this. I just picked up one and then the woman said, do you want me to run back and get you another? And I didn't understand that. She said it's uh, two for the price of one. So she went back and got chocolate chip. I'm just going to freeze this other uh, muffin pack because these are hard enough to get through just alone. I'm not a muffin girl. Uh, my husband eats them and the kids do every now and again. And then we got some provolone cheese. We got a bunch of that and I sub this for mozzarella all the time. So if we have any Italian dishes coming up, I will use provolone, but I love this on a hoagie. That's like my favorite sandwich, I guess. I got the AT Pro A2 protein organic whole milk. There's three in here, but we are hoping that will last us a little bit here. We might need a jug or two later on in the month, but we'll see. And then we have some Kerrygold Irish butter. There's four eight ounce bars, which is helpful. We go through a lot of the grass fed butter, better for the kids in my opinion. And then we got some organic sweet potatoes. We just got the six and a half pounds because we love this on sheet pans and Buddha bowls and things like that. Very, very yummy. I was talked into getting a pineapple. It was only 268 or something like that, but uh, Minnie and Mickey Mouse were on there. So I had to get that. And then we got some more fig bars. These are 40 twin packs and that was $12. Uh, so a better value than Sam's in my opinion. And then we have the organic bananas. We have some organic honey crisp. They have jazz apples too that are also organic, but I just don't like the taste of them. They are significantly cheaper though. So it's up to you if you're cooking or just eating them straight, which is what I do. And then we have some more Campari tomatoes. I love these. I get them from Whole Foods all the time. Uh, but this was a good price too. I believe it was under $5. And then I always pick up the asparagus spears because they last forever. And uh, if I see that they're starting to get not the best, then I just blanch them and freeze them and they still turn out amazing. I love them on a sheet pan. I ended up getting a honey smoked salmon just to have it. This is $13.11. This is the best price that I've seen unless you have seen something better. So let me know in the comments below. And then we got 24 organic string cheeses for the kids. We got 40 ounces of medium cheddar. I think we'll be fine on cheese this month, but we shall see. I just wanted to get something easier that I could shred and I can also freeze this. And then we got some organic creamy peanut butter. That's a two pack, obviously. <laughs> and then we got some Chosen Foods avocado oil mayo. And I think that's, it. well, I'll show you the other things, but it's not really part of our haul. As you know, I'm having trouble keeping down water with this pregnancy. So I just got the 30 pack of Spindrift. And what I really enjoy is the grapefruit, but this one wow. came with lime and lemon. So we will see. Okay, thank you. Over here, I just got some pajamas for why some joggers for my husband. I got the wrong, uh -huh. I got the wrong ones uh, for Christmas. Then I got a flannel for myself. This was in the men's section, but it was a good price. And then we really needed some more Pyrex glasses here just so we could uh, get some meal prep going for my husband. And I think that's it. I think we did a good job. Again, it was like 240, so we have $60 to work with. Now I'm gonna sit down and show you a month long 
meal plan. This may be a bit overwhelming for some of you. If you want to take it two weeks by two weeks, that's a good idea, but I will show you, well, I mean, you've seen what we have on hand in the freezer meal video. If you haven't, just go back one video to see that one. And I'll just go through what we can make. And it's a lot of staple meals that we do. And a lot of you know about them, but if you don't, this is a way to save money. Just keep things simple, keep them basic, but don't sacrifice flavor. Hi, I decided that I was just gonna sit down and chat with you quick about this. I'm gonna call it a fail because I did want it to be a no spend month, but I'm realizing that it's gonna be a low spend challenge. And I don't know if I'm gonna call it a challenge because it's something that I have done ever since I've been on my own. I'm constantly on a low spend. So until that changes, I'm just gonna share with you some tips and tricks that get me through that. And one is planning. Typically, if you know me personally, I'm not a planner, it's not my thing. Because as a person that suffers with anxiety, it puts a lot of pressure on that person. So this low spend challenge is for food and I'm including the chickens in the low spend challenge because they eat too and they're part of the family. A lot of people look at these and they say, you can't spend money on clothing, you can't spend money on certain things, but obviously we need to spend money on bills, our mortgage and such, but this is just for food. It's not for toilet paper or paper towels or anything like that, cleaning supplies, because we have all of that on hand. It's not something that I need to replenish constantly. We just have a stock of it. So first things first, we're going through non-negotiables and my list is gonna vary from yours unless you're identical to me. Number one is coffee. We drink that every day. The next one on the list is milk for the kids. Another one is gonna be eggs because our chickens and ducks aren't producing right now. And the last one for me is vitamin water. Specifically for pregnancy, I cannot stomach water. I've had comments saying to suck it up and it's not all about you, it's just for the baby, which are super harsh and judgmental and very condescending, but that's what you get on the internet, I feel like. Vitamin water is the only thing I can keep down with my last pregnancy. It was uh, like a seltzer water, like a La Croix or whatever you want to call that. And the pregnancy before that, I craved lemon water with my son and I've tried it and it's just revolting. I am someone who is obsessive with water. I drink a lot of it to the point where I may be drinking too much of it. So this has come as a complete shock to my system. I don't know why I'm sitting here defending water, but I felt like I needed to get on here and say why vitamin water is a non-negotiable or a need on this list. But I'm gonna get you turned around and I'm just gonna share with you a week of the meal plan because we could sit here for 20 minutes and go over my month, but this week meal plan, it will show you how I plan out the rest of the month, if that makes sense. So let me get you turned around. Okay, so I have on here my week. So it's January 1st through the 8th. And if there is star if there is a star on this list, it's just showing something like a special night. If we have a pizza night or maybe we have a plan for dinner with friends, which we don't, but um, just in case. So Sunday is January 1st. I am Pennsylvania Dutch. It is a tradition to do pork, sauerkraut, mashed potatoes, and dumplings. It is something that brings you luck throughout the year. I would not say we're too superstitious, but I grew up eating foods that would bring us luck or healing or I don't know. And I, this is what I've brought into my own family. So uh, we have the pork uh, thawing out right now and we always have sauerkraut on hand and we always have potatoes on hand. This year we might go with the sweet potatoes though. And then for breakfast, we're doing latkes and eggs, which is more potatoes and more protein. So again, we will be doing eggs with that. And then if you see on my week itself over here, you might see just, if you can read my handwriting, you will see that I have things organized. So the meat that we're gonna be using is obviously that pork, but we also have leftover ham from Christmas day and we have shrimp and that was a gift from my dad. So, and I'm excited cause there's a lot that you can do with shrimp, but in that fish gift, there were other different kinds of fish that we could use. So this week we are using shrimp and then I'm just gonna take you through. So on Monday, we're gonna have cinnamon roll pancakes, which is exactly what they sound like. It's just cinnamon sugar, 
pancakes with like a glaze. Try and health it up a bit by using a different kind of flour and adding some protein powder and things like that. And then we are gonna do ham and bean soup because I saved that hawk from the ham and all I do is put potato in there, green beans, carrots, my classic ham and bean soup, and then I'll do a tiny crock for myself. And then jumping back over to the list, I have uh, things in the freezer that are things that we just always have. So pierogies and gnocchi need to be used up. We could eat that every single week and not get tired of it because there's different ways that you can use them. And then staples that are cheap are gonna be fried rice, some sort of pasta dish, and then grilled cheese or a grilled sandwich of sorts. So finishing up with Monday, you will see that we have pork, potato cakes, and a veggie. I'm gonna try and utilize leftovers as much as I can. A lot of these plans will be leftovers. We eat leftovers for lunch every single day. It's just not something that bothers us. I know a lot of people can't eat the same thing, but we can, so that's what we plan on utilizing, and that saves a ton of money, so that's always helpful. On Tuesday, we are doing veggie biscuits and gravy, so I'm just using uh, a bean instead of sausage, and then for my husband's, I'll use pork or ham, something, whatever he's not sick of, that's what I'll use. You could totally use shrimp in this too if you wanted to, and then we're just gonna do some easy drop biscuits. They're very, very simple. And then we're gonna do some salad and soup. And then Tuesday night, we're gonna do shrimp Alfredo gnocchi, and that will use up that portion of the gnocchi. We probably have about 40 portions of gnocchi in there because whenever we have leftover mashed potatoes, we make it into pierogies or gnocchi or some sort of dough, uh, a potato cake. There's so many things that you can do. I have a video on leftover mashed potatoes. Um, search my meal challenge videos and you can find that. And then on Wednesday, we're just going to do leftover burritos, which is essentially everything above into a burrito. Just add some eggs and potatoes to beef it up and you're good to go. And then we're going to do leftovers for lunch. And then Wednesday, we're going to implement one of the staples and do fried rice. I'm not sure if I want to dip into my rice stash, so I might actually just use quinoa. And it's essentially the exact same process, but it's made with quinoa. It's really tasty if you've never tried it. If you've never tried it, I would definitely add Add rice and quinoa first and then you can move on to just solely quinoa and then for Thursday I'm doing some fruit and avocado toast we have some frozen guac in there that needs to be used up we're gonna do leftovers of course and then we're gonna do grilled cheese and some sort of soup probably some roasted red pepper soup that's very easy for me to do because we always have frozen peppers on hand and uh, coconut milk so that one's an easy one and we don't have to dip into our milk stash because we have that shelf stable milk in our prepper pantry. We have coconut milk, we have dry milk, uh, just different types of items down there to make things creamy, if that makes sense. And then on Friday, we're just gonna do some more pancakes. You guessed it, leftovers for lunch. And then we're gonna do the pumpkin pierogies and I'm gonna do po' boys with the shrimp. We have some, buddy. You're making the thing shake with your footsteps. Are you a T-Rex? Um, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do, uh, yeah, the po' boys. So we have some flour tortillas to use up and I thought maybe we could do like a po' boy quesadilla. We don't really have any rolls. I'm not planning on going out and getting rolls and I'm not really planning on making any. So I think we'll just do it in a quesadilla form. That will be interesting and tasty. Thanks, bud. And then on Saturday, we'll just do eggs, ham, and potatoes, a classic, and then we'll do leftovers for the week because on Saturday and Sunday is when I like to do some meal prepping. And that's it. That's kind of my plan. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, I'd like to insert here, some of you are new. I love to challenge myself and I love to help you. So if you have anything in your pantry that you're just stumped on and you need to use it up, let me know and I will make a recipe for you. Just tell me in the comments down below. Alrighty, my friends, and that is gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this plan. I hope I can stick to it. Again, fails happen. It's just something that happens, especially with me, and I've learned to embrace it over the years. So that is what we're doing. I'm sorry to disappoint if some of you were expecting a no spend, but we have changed it. We're doing a low spend, and then maybe in the future, there will be a month where we are stable enough to do a no spend. So as always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I'll I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everyone.